Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the soft UI effect, but with uh, dark mode. So, um, last video, I showed you something similar to this, where it's kind of, you know, all white. Um, but yeah, I'll show you how to get the same effect, but with uh, dark colors. Also, someone on Reddit mentioned what this type of UI is called, um, new morphism. Yeah, that's the official like name for it, uh, if you're interested in that. But yeah, so in the last video, we made up to this with some really simple code. It was just a container with my little Android figure in it. And we just added a uh, border. Essentially, the, the border is actually colorless. There is actually no border. But what we did do is we added some shadows. Um, and they're slightly different colors. So it seems like there is a border there and we use this little uh, border radius property to kind of curve this around okay so let's try to change this to dark mode okay so first of all let's change this background color now you don't want to go completely black because you um, kind of like in this example we didn't go completely white on the background and the foreground because this needs to be white you need to make the sh one of the shadows lighter um, or darker, so it can't go all the way. So for the gray, I'm just going to pick maybe, uh, oh yeah, by the way, if you want to see like all the different strengths, you can just type gray and just have a look at the different strengths we want. So I think we're going to go with, let's go with 850, let's see how that looks. Okay. And I'm just going to control save and show you how quickly like Flutter can reload it. Alright, so we changed the background, that looks kind of off. So let's go here and change this one as well. Whoops, to 850. Yeah, so background and the foreground, they have to match the color. Okay, now my Android, let's change this guy. Um, to white. Okay, now everything's looking good. Now we just got to adjust these shadows. So let's change this gray. Now this is the darker one, right? So this one's the one at the bottom. So we want this darker than this 850. So let's go 900 for that guy. Um, not looking too good. I think that's because there's a white here that's kind of overlapping with it. Why we don't want it so white, we just want it slightly lighter than this 850. So let's say, let's say 800. Oh shit, gray 800. And yeah, there we go. Let's see what 700 looks like. No, 800 is the way to go. Cool, and yeah, you've essentially got the dark mode effect. Now, if you're going to implement this in an app, I would recommend just putting a toggle. Um, and kind of just saving the colors, right? But um, I hope you guys can see the uh, idea on how to like implement the shadows. So someone asked me on on the last YouTube video if like how to get the shadows if it's all black. So you don't want that's the thing you don't want to make the background and the foreground completely black because the shadow has to be slightly darker. So you can't get darker than black, right? <laughs> okay, and also this radius property this radius circular if you just turn it up enough then you can get like a circle um, just a complete circle and that's what I used um, to like kind of put a clock on it and you know looks kind of modern but yeah another nice quick video thanks